Greetings everybody, it's Jim, and th today we're going to go over another unboxing of a, yet another metagame. Uh, this time it's going to be Hotspot, and I did realize last time though, that after I got done filming it, that I really didn't go over what Black Hole actually was, but now I don't feel so bad because... There's really, this, this is the description. Black Hole is a two-player tactical space combat game. Asteroid mining cartels battle with futuristic combat units for control of, well, something man never made. Includes map, play counters, and a rules booklet. So um, it really didn't have much to say. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to uh, you know, have to go over the, the game video with you um, to go over what that is. But anyway, today I am going to be unboxing with you the mint version of Hotspot from Metagaming. So okay, let's just move over the camera and we'll get going. <laughs> Okay, everybody, here we have Hotspot, and I gotta wonder if I should call this an unboxing, really, because it doesn't come in a box with these metagames, right? But for all intents and purposes, it is. And for all intents and purposes, I am calling it Mint. Um, you know, I, I would consider it Mint because, I mean, the inside's a chair. You can't expect this to be ever unopened with just plain tape. People would open it and just see if they wanted to buy it or not, right? Um, but I can tell that everything's cherry within. Now, I am going to have to get another one of these. Uh, I'm going to have to find online, if you can leave a comment below, of where I can find these little plastic envelopes. Um, because Black Hole that I opened earlier did not have one, and I don't want it to just be in a comic book bag. Um, you know, I want it to be in one of these as well. Now, these take care to open up through the sides because you could easily just yank this out. And because it's so tight, you're going to bend those corners. Don't want that. So here we go. And uh, let's take out the insides here and first look, first and foremost, at the rule book. Now, like all Metagames books, uh, it does have the nice glossy cover inside and even outside. I mean, outside, inside as well as outside. Um, I wonder how these fonts would look differently. Uh, with a one just one point higher. I wonder how many how much thicker this book would be. Uh, one thing I will say here, they got a, ooh, they got a color in here. Uh, I wonder how much that cost them just for that one picture. Uh, because I mean it's not four color, but all they did was just change the tip for that page. But still, that took work just for that one thing. Um, so that's a curiosity. So we got a lot of a lot of movement examples here. All right, a lot of movement examples. Some pictures in here, okay. Now, now this is interesting. Now look at these, uh, look at those counter sheets. Now we haven't looked at the counter sheet yet. I mean, these counter examples, right? Uh, these are a lot more detailed than the other ones have been. So it's gonna be interesting to see how, uh, how well these, uh, how well these go. So let's see here. All right, so that's the rule book. Oh, some more color in the back here. So they chose two pictures to be red. And, they, and when they do that, since it's not four color, they just replace the, the tint, you know, I mean, not the tint, but whatever. I don't know the printing term, but they just re, just change the black to red. That's it. So, but I wonder how much it still costs them. So let's take a look at the map next. I want, and again, this has the same feel as it did with black hole. It's just, they did something with the texture of, I didn't mention the texture of it. I said it was like parchment, but this has a texture to it. Uh, much the same as Black Hole did. This one's, of course, just yellow. And this is basically just a big, big uh, hexagonish uh, layout. And it's just a complete circle, basically. Combat results table on the side. Uh, crustal damage charts, <laughs> whatever that is yet, I don't know. Um, and close assault infantry table, which is actually printed on the opposite side. Uh, I guess just so not one player is controlling all the action as far as rules go, but because it's so small, I don't know. I, I, would you be referring to a sheet? And, better to refer to a sheet instead. Um, but that's interesting enough. So let's take the last component here, and that is the counters. Now, much like Orbit, I mean not or, Orbit War. I keep saying Orbit War. Black Hole. These are already pre-cut to a degree, you know, up and down. So that must have been the way they just came. And on the back, yeah, they're not cut though. You got to still zacto knife them off, so that that's uh, there's no way to just pull them off. That's how they were. And uh, I don't know about these things though. Do these have to be cut separately? I suppose, or is that just a chart? That's going to be interesting. I don't think I don't think anybody's going to expect you to cut those out necessarily. I think these just might be. Oh man, I might be wrong. I'm going to have to check on that. But yes, these counters look 
pretty dang detailed. They look pretty snazzy, actually. They put a... That, that looks nice. Let me pick good colors on those. Um, and which is important for games like this. If you're, go, if you're just going to go low, um, you know, low printing costs and stuff like that, you still got to make it as clear as you can. And you can have detail. You can have detail that looks good. I'm sorry, the glare is getting in there. Uh, but they say in production for video, you have to have light. So I apologize for that focus there and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely. And this isn't bad. I got picked this up for like 12 bucks, folks. So let me see if I can find something real quick here about just real quick i might have to go over this in the game to make this video shorter um but i don't see anything right off the bat about what that's about uh are those am i going to have to cut those counters out or what components let's just take a quick look here we got ground units crystals yep the light hexagon configuration counters represent the mobile crystals each crystal has a letter for identification and they can be one of four types, one hex, two hex, triangular, three hex, or four hex. And that's what these are. So yes, they're going to get cut out and placed on the map board, I'm assuming. So that's pretty interesting. Even though they, they, you would think that they would have some kind of design on them just a little bit if there's some kind of something going on there. But anyway, uh, that's fine. I mean, it's going to be kind of tough to cut those out because you're not going to just zack the knife at those out of there. Uh, well, maybe you can, but you sure can't use a Fiskars you know, like, like cutter like I'm going to use for these. I'm not going to zack the knife these things. I'm just going to use one of those Fiskar things. So anyway, guys, that is the video for Hop Spot, and I'll see you guys next video.